Moonshine, White Lightning, Hooch, uh, you got Splo, sort of for explosion. Uh, Mule was like there's Panther's Piss and Mule's Breath, Thump Whiskey, Rock Gut. Today I would break down, you know, moonshiners, and I'll define moonshiners briefly as anyone that makes their own personal liquor or they make liquor to sell. Basically, it's illegal federally for anyone to make their own liquor, and so I break down those moonshiners into three big timers, which were more large underground submarine stills. Um, the second group I'm calling old timers which I talked about before, people that use maybe copper stills, they, they might use a more traditional recipe, not much sugar, more just corn mash, you know, yeast, water, maybe some rye, you know, that basic ingredients, and they don't change that too much, so they're, they're more traditional. And then you have this kind of new segment of moonshiners called New Age Moonshiners, and they don't get their, their recipe from tradition, they get the recipe from the internet. You know, a lot of New Age moonshiners are keeping the tradition alive, but it's certainly deviated from how it was in the early 20th century and before that. Here, uh, what do you think you want to do with this, given your expertise with this yesterday? I did that whole bag. That seemed about right. It's a bit more gooey than I think what you got. No, that's fine. Well, I don't think okay. it needs to go for a little longer, but... You you think it does? Mm. I don't see a big problem. Let's just, uh... I think it'd be fine if we just, you know, put yeah. it through and mash it up a little bit, put it back in there, do it now, whatever. No, let's drop okay. it in there. Okay. No big deal. Uh, why do we moonshine? Why do I moonshine? Uh... Do it because I'm interested in it. Um, I like liquor, and it's an easily it's an easily done venture with a whole mystique around it, which is just steeped in mystery and subterfuge, I guess. You know, just there's lots of weird myths out there about moonshine and moonshiners and the whole process. When in reality, it's a bit less dark or more dark depending on who you talk to I would consider it more like an offshoot of of I mean of what we of one I do I would consider it more like an offshoot of like craft brewing or like home beer making like it's essentially the same damn thing I mean like people make home I mean, beer at home and then they sell it or give it away for presents at Christmas time or whatever like that you know <laughs> By having this openness on the internet where you can talk to people about recipes and different ways of doing things, you're able to actually get a better product as a whole group. Because it's a way of everyone to say, this didn't work with me. Why didn't it work with you? Was it your setup? Then you can learn something from everybody else about how not to do something if you want a better product. So, in a way, the internet has just really helped boost the, the subculture in general. Uh, it used to be you could only learn this stuff uh, back in the day from books, from, you know, not even, you know, from before when you could learn it in books, you learned it word of mouth, you learned it from songs. There are songs that have recipes embedded in them. I know a guy who read the Foxfire books and read a small book by some moonshiner there. He got it from like a store or something like that and he learned how to do moonshining basics from that. And he didn't keep going after a while, he just sort of stopped. But that's probably because you didn't have a an underground community of moonshiners helping each other out. Well, you pick up a uh, some whiskey at at the ABC store. You look at the bottle; it's factory made. You don't see any really human 
interaction with it. Whereas moonshine, you can tell that someone actually put liquor into a jar and screwed the top on there. In, in the case that any of this were to be sold at market prices, it would be, we'd come out to something around $4 an hour, and if I was, if I was in the hole for money, I'd go out and get a second job. Um, it's more about doing something that is rewarding.